Hey everyone, it's Spencer Hawes here with NichePursuits.com and today I want to talk about whether or not Amazon actually cares about its Amazon associates. The Amazon affiliate program has been around for a long time and there are hundreds of thousands of Amazon associates but they've taken some action recently and in the past that makes it seem like do they even care about us? So um, rather than dive into the new commission changes and what it all means and what you should do about it and should we be really angry, I just want to answer the simple question, does Amazon even really care? So I'm going to take a look at uh, a lot of different facts here today and figures. We're going to get a little bit nerdy actually and dive into some financial statements uh, and that's something that I find interesting anyways. I figured, let's look at the annual report. Amazon's a public company. Let's see how much they pay their associates and so much more. Uh, there is a wealth of knowledge in their financial statements. So with that, let's jump right into it. So uh, before I do give you uh, an opinion here on whether or not Amazon really cares about us, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button on this video so you can get notified next time I produce a video. So does Amazon even care about its Amazon Associates program? Uh, let's jump in here and look at a couple of recent things. So you're probably aware that there were massive commission changes that happened on April 21st. I, I'm not here to reset, rehash all the changes and how terrible it is. It hurts. I don't like it. Um, but you know, you've probably seen this graphic that a lot of the rates have gone from 8% down to 3% or 1%, just depending on what it is. It really is gonna be a, a big impact. And so the question is, do they just hate us? Are we just pawns that they can just toss around? Uh, I do wanna share this graphic. This is shared by Jesse Lakes. Uh, over on GeniusLink.com, a really cool software tool, by the way. But Jesse's a good friend of mine. He's probably the smartest guy I know and the most experienced person I know in relation to the Amazon Associates program because he has a lot of experience there. Uh, this just shows that, unfortunately, the commission rate change uh, that happened recently is nothing new. You can see since uh, 2010, the rates have come down significantly uh, quite a bit. And it, honestly, it's not even the biggest drop. Uh, you can see here at the end, yeah, it was a big drop, but there's been a lot of big drops in the past. Uh, so unfortunately, it's nothing new. Amazon has a history of cutting commission rates. And so again, go over to the Genius Link blog. Uh, Jesse Lakes had a great uh, blog post there. I agree with what he is saying here. Is it time to leave the Amazon Associates program? Uh, very nuanced analysis. I highly recommend that you read that. I'm gonna share some of the findings that he has there along with my own here. Um, but what I wanted to dive in, I haven't seen anybody else do this, is actually dive into the financial statements of Amazon. They're a public company. They put out an annual report every single year. Uh, they disclose where they spend their money, where they make their money, right? So how much does Amazon spend on its affiliate program? I figured this would be really easy to do. Um, there's hundreds of thousands, some say millions of associates, so surely it's all there. And so I pulled up the, uh, you know, you can go to the sec.gov and pull up their 10K or other places, Amazon Investor Relations, and dive into their financial statements. Um, I enjoy looking at this stuff, um, probably because of my old school days, you know, getting my MBA and that sort of thing. But uh, fortunately, I don't have to do this all the time now. Uh, it took me a long time to go through their financial statement, and I will just simply say that the word Amazon Associates is not mentioned once. Amazon Affiliates are not mentioned once. The more and more I looked, the little bit sadder it became to realize uh, we're, we're not talked about in the annual report at all. We are referenced uh, a couple of times, but not really talked about. So Amazon affiliates are not a big deal uh, when it comes to the overall financial statements of Amazon. That much is clear. They mention their Amazon sellers and third-party sellers a lot. They're really proud of their third-party sellers and how much they've grown that. 
uh, just to give you an idea. Um, so it wasn't as easy to find how much they are spending on their associates program, but their marketing line item here is where uh, they're paying their associates. So I'll just quickly, the top line, net sales, uh, 280, it looks like thousands, but this is in millions. Um, and so it's $280 billion. I have to laugh, such a huge company. $280 billion is the amount of revenue uh, that Amazon had in 2019. Holy cow, Jeff Bezos, no wonder he's so rich. Um, and then there's the marketing line item, which as you can see, is a smaller uh, line item. I did the calculations. It accounts for just under 6% of their total expenditures. Okay, so it's 18 billion, almost 19 billion. So it's a big number, uh, but for Amazon, it's less than 6%. Okay, but marketing makes up a ton more than just their associates program. So I'm hoping that we can zoom in on where I've highlighted here. Uh, it says marketing costs primarily consist of targeted online advertising. So this is all their sponsored ads that they have across the entire internet, uh, related expenses for personnel engaged in marketing and selling activities and television advertising. So that sentence, that explains where most of their marketing expenditures go. Then they say, we pay commissions to third parties when their customers' referrals result in sales. Cha-ching, that is the sentence. We did make it on the annual report. That's referring to affiliates. We paid third parties when their customers, customer referrals result in sales. That's it. Uh, they do have another section where they do mention third-party customer re referrals. Um, it says our marketing costs are largely variable, variable based on growth and changes in rates. That could be the changes of their rates, but mostly they're talking about the changes that they paid for sponsored advertising, how much they're paying uh, Google and Facebook and television and other advertising rates. That's where most of the variable uh, expenditures are coming in. Um, and then final sentence, the increase in marketing costs in absolute dollars in 2019 compared to the prior year is primarily due to increased spending on marketing channels as well as payroll and related expense. So marketing channels fluctuates a little bit referring to Amazon Associates. So I was a little bit depressed um, to see that Amazon Associates really aren't talked about. Uh, and overall, at least makes me feel like, you know, we're not that big a deal uh, to Amazon's bottom line. Again, that's me reading into it. Uh, they love their third-party sellers. They mentioned it, you know, 30, 40, 50 times. Amazon Associates were not mentioned in their financial statements. The other sort of uh, downer here is, uh, or, or reason to believe that maybe Amazon doesn't care that much about the, its Associates program, is their Amazon plugin stopped working. Uh, they put a WordPress plugin out, uh, but then officially here, as it says, February 14, 2020, it was discontinued. And I don't expect that they'll support that. There's a lot of reasons why that may be. They just don't perhaps want to get into the third-party plugin uh, support business. That's one way to look at it. You can see that it was quite a popular plugin. Uh, it was getting downloaded about 200 times per day uh, until it got discontinued in February. Now let's look at some Google Trends and built with a really awesome tool. So uh, the term Amazon Associates and the term Amazon Affiliate have been growing since 2014 quite significantly and are still generally um, on, on the rise or at least on the high end. So this tells me that from a potential affiliate standpoint, people that wanna be affiliates, they're really interested and they're exciting. So that's trending up but I don't think that really tells us how much Amazon cares about their affiliates. That just means more and more people are interested in the affiliate program. If we look at the Amazon Associates usage statistics, and this is from builtwith.com, you can see how many uh, websites have, the, have an Amazon affiliate link on their website. And that's approximately 275,000 websites are live on the internet that are using the Amazon Associates program. So I don't know if that's higher than you expected or lower. Uh, for me, that is um, 
maybe a little lower than I expected. I, I kind of thought there was a couple of million affiliates, but uh, this tells me uh, there's only 275,000 websites that that have the the link on their site, and I know that I have five or six websites or probably more, just me as one associate, and I, everybody else I know that's an associate has a few websites. So there's probably significantly less than 275,000 um, associates with websites. I should clarify that because there are a lot of YouTubers or other influencers that don't have a website. There you go, just some more data. Uh, on the pro side, they are launching new affiliate programs. Again, this goes back to Jesse Lakes. He shared that um, they are going into other countries. It takes a lot of effort and energy to put together a new program, often more than a year. And so this isn't something that they would just try to launch it in other countries, which they just launched in the last, I think he said 30 to 60 days, and then shut down the program. So. We, we shouldn't feel like they're going to be shutting down the Amazon Associates program relatively quickly. They're still growing and expanding that. Okay, the other thing is that Amazon is still hiring for support on their Amazon Associates program. Here's just a recent uh, uh, job listing. Again, Jesse Lakes uh, posted this on his blog post for an uh, Associates manage, Marketing Manager. This is posted um, April 6th. So they're still hiring and growing that program. So I don't think we should say, okay, they're cutting rates. The next thing, they're going to just eliminate the program completely. I, I don't think that's the case. Um, so is Amazon closing its affiliate program? I have to agree with what Jesse Lake said uh, that no, I don't think they're going to be closing the Amazon Associates program in the imminent future. Down the road, five years, 10 years, I don't know what's going to happen. Amazon's a big company. They make a lot of changes. Um, unfortunately, we're a small cog in a massive beast of a business. Are they closing it very soon? No, I don't think so. But that doesn't really answer the question, does Amazon really care about us its associates? Even if they have the affiliate program for years to come, do they really care about us? Um, I'm gonna leave that up to you to answer. I've gone through the financials. Uh, we're, we're a small piece, but perhaps an important piece. We don't know what traffic we're driving. We don't know how much what we're doing is impacting the bottom line of Amazon. Uh, but it's safe to say that it's probably a small percent um, of that. They spend uh, five to six percent on marketing and we're a small part of their marketing budget. So the number of overall sales, again, we don't know that. Does Amazon really care? Sometimes it feels like they don't. But Perhaps they do, and uh, Jeff Bezos, you're, you're welcome to respond here and, and let us know. I won't be waiting for that response, though, anytime soon. Overall, I just wanted to share some of my opinions without diving into uh, what to do next uh, with your website. That's, you know, there's so many videos out there, what to do with your website. If you're an Amazon associate, I'll let you watch those other videos. But I just wanted to dive into the financial statements and talk about, you know, how a uh, Amazon really thinks about uh, its associates. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make a comment and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna find out more about what I've been up to, what I do, go over to nichepursuits.com. I'd love to have you follow along there. Thanks again for watching.